Namaste, this is Mekla here from Pooja's uh, In this video today, I want to share an interesting experience I had uh, during a conversation with a stranger. So there is this lady who called me from Bombay, Mumbai and uh, she said, uh, she just inquired about uh, the services, what we offer. Uh, so she wanted to know what, what is the procedure to book a Pooja and things like that. And uh, she also asked me about the astrologic consultation. So in this process, um, in between she said, okay, I want to book a consultation, but uh, I will book a consultation only if you can guarantee me a good positive future. Now I thought it's a very interesting conversation, so I should share it with you. Uh, see, first of all, uh, I want to make a very bold statement that astrologers are not gods. Okay, in quotes, I'm saying astrologers are not gods. They are just channels who can show you light towards what your life is leading to. For example, uh, uh, we say deep, dia, no? So it's like a street lamp. So when you are walking in the street or you're driving, when the street lamp, you can see the path. You can see who's in front. You can see whether there's a store nearby or whether there's a road hum or whether there's a signal. So everything is very clearly visible. So that's exactly how an astrologer works in your life. So, you know, he has your chart or she has your chart. It's a life plan that you are born with. Okay, you're born for a certain reason. You can work in this way. These are your positive traits. These are your negative traits. You know, this is where you can suffer. This is where you can improve. You know, these are the things which we can indicate based on the chart you carry. But we cannot promise you a great life. But we can show you the path where you can have a great life despite challenges. So assuming that you are born very karmic and you have lots of suffering written in your chart and you know you are not able to bear the pain that you are going through, then uh, an astrologer can help you uh, by you know suggesting some remedies or some life corrections in your lifestyle where you can Im improvise your life based on your existing life plan. But if you just tell your astrologer, change my life, change my kundli, change the way things will be in my life, it's just not going to happen. Because that's not what he is. Only God and Guru. I'm repeating, only God and your own Guru, your Atma Guru can really change anything. He can change your destiny. He can change your fate. And that also only when you surrender to him or her completely. So you have to completely surrender your ego. You have to surrender your your will you have to merge with the supreme will only then your destiny can change and you can see major transformations but with an astrologer i would like to clarify that if you want uh, your astrologer to perform miracles for you it's not going to happen because i'd like to be very honest because this is reality so if you want your astrologer to help you in any way whatsoever it can happen only if you um, are more receptive to the inputs given by the astrologer because the astrologer will see, he or she will evaluate what are the core strengths in your horoscope. What is it that you can improvise? What is it that you should avoid? So just follow these. Uh, these are like, uh, you know, good inputs that you get. And when you follow, you'll have a great life. But uh, many times what happens is people consult, they don't follow. They take opinion, they don't follow. Then again, you can't promise yourself a great life. So if you want to have a great life, you have to be committed towards your own life. You know, your astrologer can't be committed to your life. So in fact, um, strangely, I also get some um, video um, comments on my video, you know, where uh, people say, wow, you have written such a lovely mantra. I'm going to try this mantra. But if I don't get, I will end my life. I will do this. I will do that. So you can't be threatening your uh, astrologer. See, whatever inputs we have, we share it with you. Now, uh, these are inputs because we have experienced the power of these mantras. We have seen it over years where people have also got benefit of the mantra. So, in the good spirit, we share. But if you are, um, don't be cynical when you try these mantras because they don't have any negative impact or side effects. So, when an astrologer or a Vedic priest or a learned person shares a mantra, it is in the good spirit for um, you know you to improve your life so you can try it no doubt and if it doesn't work don't give up it will lead you to something else it will never go waste so uh, and I don't see any reason why it should not work for you when it works for me when it works for my clients when it works for all devoted souls why should it not work for you 
maybe your karma was such that you had to suffer a lot and then get a solution and maybe this is the solution so go with the um, clear head and optimistic bent of mind go with a pure heart uh, don't go with uh, an intention of uh, you know threatening the person you know if this doesn't work i'm going to do this so how am i supposed to be responsible for anything that you do i'm not so i'm i can just say that yeah this is going to work try you are going to succeed and you just try in that faith and you know um, that spirit don't try to um, uh, always think negative about ending life or doing something bad to yourself and harming your family don't do that so uh, i'm very seriously appealing to the viewers that you know uh, don't expect miracles from an astrologer first point because astrologer is going to show you your life path take inputs follow test for yourself you'll get results second thing is don't be cynical in life thinking if things don't materialize i'll do this i'll do that in a negative way don't plan your life or program your mind in a negative way just be more positive and try to uh, discover what is good in store for you and with that i'm sure you can create your own miracles and uh, i like i said earlier with god and guru's grace you can just move mountains you can make mountains come to you the impossible also will become possible that's what my guru says that there's nothing that is impossible in this world when you say the word impossible that i am and possible so that's why my guru my guru says you know it's nothing is impossible it's i am possible so just uh, go out with that attitude and just see life will treat you in a very lovely way you will enjoy each and every breath that you're taking every walk every step you take every person you meet every moment you will cherish i with this video I, this is exactly what i wanted to share uh, i just hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, i would continue to keep you guys inspiring all the best namaste